guys. This video has been a long time coming. One year, three months, and 27 days of having to be silent, but who's counting? I have felt every moment of it, and having to be silent has been one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, but I'm hoping by the end of this video you will better understand why. Let's first focus on the things that most of you already know. I was in a relationship with a man named Milos Mihailovic from July of 2015 until March of 2017. Found out I was pregnant, shock of my life, in March of 2016, and I made a video called I'm Engaged and Pregnant in July of that very same year. I thought that I had found the one, and I was in love and having a child, and I wanted everyone to know. Milos wanted me to tell people that we met at a coffee shop, but the truth is we met on Tinder. Oh, Tinder. <laughs> Much of our relationship played out online and in vlogs, and it was peachy and rosy, and I kept a lot of things hidden that were scary and bad, and I kept them very light, and there was a lot that I was hiding. I have mentioned before in videos that for legal reasons I have not been able to talk about what happened to me, but what I failed to mention is that I had a lot of court trials involving Milos that didn't wrap up until February of this year. One of which I am sure many of you have read on gossip forums was for domestic violence. I'm so sorry, I'm just... It just been a lot. Not yet. Keep it together. Ah, uh, keep it together. I was ordered by a judge during such trials to not talk about my situation until a ruling had been made. So I had no choice <laughs> because anything that I would have said in a video or on a post could have been used against me and I had to make sure that Rex was with me and that he was safe. The stakes were just too high. When all the trials were done and everything was settled and finally over, you think I would have been finally able to talk about what happened to me. <laughs> Wrong. There were, and still are, many legal impediments, or roadblocks if you will, as to why I can't safely talk about what transpired. After much consideration and expert advice, my only real option to be able to tell my story was to write a book and get a publisher behind me. For my trials, I had already organized everything into a folder. So I had dates of things that happened, I had police reports, receipts, witness statements, everything that I would need to factually back up the insane truth that was my life. And by the end of February this year, I had myself a book deal. It took me about a month to finish it. So I just sat on the couch right above my head, upstairs here and for eight to ten hours a day i just poured my heart to paper i give you a sucky love story overcoming unhappily ever after a memoir by you know who and i didn't hold back it is raw and it's real and it's the truth i need you guys to do something for me i need you to pre-order my book i need you to read it I need you to share my story because I don't want what happened to me to happen to anyone else. And if you are even thinking of online dating, read my book before you do. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It just, I finally get to talk about this. It's so exciting. <laughs> even though I can't really like talk about it, I'm talking about it. And I've seen the comments where you guys have said that I've been doing this, that I've been stringing this out, but I promise you that hasn't been the case. And I just figured that I had two choices. Either I quit making YouTube videos or I keep making them and eventually I would get to share this burden that I have carried for so long. Link in the description box. I meant it when I said answers are coming and I've already waited this long to be able to say this much. So what's a few more months? Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for waiting patiently to hear more and I know how confusing all of this must be for you. You know what's even crazier? The trial and all that went with it, as stressful as it was, was easy compared to everything else that went down. 
I, I literally lived my worst nightmare. I had to write like a blurb or a synopsis about what my book is about that goes on the back. And I think two sentences really summarize everything. And that is, this is not a love story. This is my story of survival. And I am so glad that I will finally be able to tell it.